I am a zebra. My stripes are my war paint. You may be blind to it, but it is me, and I am it. My body is at war, a constant battle of pain and determination, exhaustion and willpower. My shoulder dislocated five times today just while I tried to wash dishes, but I'm fine. I woke up 12 times last night because, after the hours I was awake due to pain, my body couldn't stay in the same position for more than 20 minutes without feeling like my joints were on fire. But I'm fine. Those three lines I wrote on a post-it note for the fridge earlier will put my right hand out of action for roughly four hours or a day, depending on my luck and the curls my pen had to trace, but I'm fine. You learn to be fine. You learn that your fine is painful, your fine is fragile, your fine is exhausted and fatigued but still smiling. Your fine is broken, glued together with splints and casts and tape. Your fine is a struggle. Your fine is the achievement of getting out of bed this morning, of putting on clothes. Your fine is stumbling through brain fog, not putting the boiling water on your cereal at breakfast instead of milk. Your fine is battling with a constant pain which consumes you, a cage with no escape, the bars tight around you restricting your movement. But I'm fine. You ask how I am. If I told you, you wouldn't understand. And when I told you, you told me you understood. That your knee has been hurting a few days now, I'd give anything to trade, but wouldn't inflict this chronic torture upon my worst enemy. Pain is no contest. There's no prize if I win. Unless winning means doctors passing you around like a time bomb, tossing you to the next medical professional faster than you can say their speciality. You don't fit in any of their boxes. You don't belong in their filing cabinet. Maybe it's all in my head. Maybe all of the doctors who called me a liar or referred me to psychologists or who told me I need to stop thinking negatively were right. Maybe if I imagined hard enough, my joints would just magically pop back into their sockets and I'd never have to darken their doorway with my complexities again. I hope you get better soon, they say. The best intentions, but how can I explain this living hell? All I can say is thanks and know that they meant no harm, that they didn't mean to make my cage feel tighter. Physical pain must be faced daily. It is a battle which must be fought, but can never be won. It's exhausting. It's unpredictable. One of our biggest problems is you. It's the PE teacher who says we are making up excuses. It's the family who ask why the bandage that was on our knee yesterday is on our wrist today. It's the friends who get angry when we have to cancel plans. It's the look we get from strangers when we take a priority seat on the bus. I'm always looking for somewhere to sit. I dread busy places because I know my knees just can't keep me up. I smile though, that's my mask. The trick is to act as normal as possible. If I can fool others, maybe I can fool myself. And then I break. I struggle to accept my limitations. It's hard to accept my body isn't capable of what yours is. I can fill my body with drugs, but the pain will still throb and my limbs will still fail me. I'll never be free from this. I get up every morning and paint on my stripes. I tell myself it's the only option. I have to push on regardless. Some days I win that round, other days I lose, but that's just part of the fight.